wish to stay here, Harry. Grow old. While every Potterhead loves that Ron and Hermione, Harry's two best friends, end up together. J.K. Rowling herself has said that Harry and Hermione would be a better fit as a couple. Oh, to be young and to feel love's keen sting. In the magical world of Harry Potter, Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger go from bickering kids You're going to, take someone's eye out. to falling in love over the course of seven books, or eight movies, same thing, despite their polar opposite personalities. While it might have made more sense, even to the author herself, to get Harry and Hermione together, there are a few reasons why they were never meant to be. Perhaps the greatest reason was that Hermione was just too smart to end up with Harry. She was always the smartest in the classroom at Hogwarts. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Superior to Harry in many ways. However, due to Harry's fame, if they had ended up together, Hermione would have instantly gone from being amazing in her own right. Actually, I'm highly logical, which allows me to look past extraneous detail. To just Harry Potter's wife, which would reduce everything she achieved by herself. Ron, on the other hand, was in a similar boat to Hermione. Both of them were Harry's best friends. Why is it when something happens, it is always you three? And while both would be forever tied to Harry's achievements, Hermione's personal accolades would not be overshadowed by Ron's. She could have her own life and her own star as one of the smartest witches in Hogwarts history without worrying about Harry one-upping everything she did. It's top of the class. It's even better than you, Hermione. Slughorn thinks he's a genius. Ending up with Ron was just another smart move in a long line of them for our favorite muggle-born witch. While writing the books, a main reason that Harry and Hermione did not end up together is due to J.K. Rowling fulfilling her own wish, which from when she started writing the Philosopher's Stone, or the Sorcerer's Stone in America, was always to have Ron and Hermione marry each other at the end of the series. When asked about it in an interview with Emma Watson, who played Hermione in the film series, Rowling said, I wrote the Hermione-Ron relationship as a form of wish fulfillment. That's how it was conceived, really. For reasons that have very little to do with literature and far more to do with me clinging to the plot as I first imagined it, Hermione ended up with Ron. However, just because it was wish fulfillment on JK Rowling's end does not mean that Ron and Hermione did not have any real chance with each other. And fans could easily argue that their differing personalities fit together better than Hermione and Harry's more similar ones. It would have been so easy for Harry, the chosen one who is marked to defeat the evil he who must not be named at birth, to end up with the incredibly smart and resourceful Hermione. You may be the chosen one, mate, but this is a whole lot bigger than that. But as you have seen in just about every sitcom ever, opposites to trap, where Hermione was acing every class and firing her hand into the air to answer questions like a bullet out of a gun, Ron took a more relaxed approach to school barely handing assignments in on time and putting way more effort into making friends than his studies. I'll do the introduction, that's all. Hermione, you're honestly the most wonderful person I've ever met. Where Hermione and Harry overlapped in a lot of areas, Hermione and Ron brought out the best in one another. Really? Why is it so a surprise? Hermione was on Ron about actually doing well in school, and he finally lived up to the Weasley name at Hogwarts, partially because of her. On his end, Ron relaxed Hermione, bringing her stress levels down from an alarming 10 to a manageable 8 or 7.5. The stereotype that opposites attract is a stereotype for a reason, and Ron and Hermione just mesh too perfectly to mess with. Shut up. Another great reason why Harry and Hermione never got together is it just doesn't fit Harry's story arc. The boy who lived, come to die. Harry had a tough family life from the moment Voldemort, uh, I mean, he who must not be named, walked through James and Lily's door. He hated living with the Dursleys, who treated him as if he was nothing and did their best at every turn to make his life as miserable as possible. I'll be in my bedroom, making no noise and pretending that I don't exist. Much of Harry's story revolves around finding and choosing a family, so wouldn't it make sense for him to end up with someone whose family means so much to him? Not that we really need to go through this with you Potter lovers, but let's quickly recap where Harry ends up in the series, just for old time's sake. While Ron and Hermione kindle their own relationship throughout the last half of the series, Harry does the same thing with Ron's sister, Ginny. 
The youngest of all the Weasleys and a year younger than the three friends, Jeannie is a powerful witch in her own right, as well as an avid Quidditch player with a sassy personality who does not put up with anything she sees as unfair or rude. Shut it! Thanks. Growing up with an astounding six older brothers, Bill, Charlie, Percy, Fred and George, and of course, Ron, Ginny was a natural tomboy who had a crush on Harry from the moment she first lays eyes on him, sitting at her family's breakfast table in the Chamber of Secrets. She's been talking about you all summer. It's a bit annoying, really. Once she builds up the courage to actually talk to him, Harry and Ginny build an instant relationship, with Harry saving Ginny from Tom Riddle's specter in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. It's all right, Ginny. It's over. In the latter half of the series, Ginny goes from being Ron's little sister to Harry's one true love, and it makes a lot of sense why. The Weasleys are the closest thing Harry has to a family, and with his character arc, nothing makes more sense than Rowling putting Ginny and Harry together and actually making him a part of the Weasleys. To Mr. Harry Potter, without whom I would not be here. Ginny and Harry just made more sense than Hermione and Harry. You are brilliant. Hermione, truly. Finally, there is the little problem that Harry and Hermione never actually have or express feelings for each other. You're my best friend. In the books, Harry's thoughts are on full display, and he never thinks of Hermione as more than a friend. Hermione's got nice skin. I've never really thought about it. In the fourth book and movie, The Goblet of Fire, after the pesky Rita Skeeter makes up stories about Hermione being madly in love with Harry, I can't believe it, she's done it again. Ron gets all in his feelings. He is understandably upset, as he does have feelings for Hermione, as he later poorly expresses to her at the Winter Ball, which Hermione noticeably went to with Victor Crumb and not Ron. Next time there's a ball, pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does. However, Harry instantly puts Ron's fears at bay, reaffirming to his best friend and to us that he does love Hermione, but only in the way a brother loves a sister. They never once had any romantic tension between them. Well, Ron and Hermione had a long boiling will they won't they going back over half the series before finally making it official after the Battle of Hogwarts in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. About time, don't you think? Since Harry and Hermione had never shown any actual signs of getting romantically intertwined, it would have been strange if J.K. Rowling suddenly threw them together in the last few books just to please the portion of fans who felt like they should end up together. I saw you two the other night. Well, that's, that's nothing. Love takes time, and it was clear that Rowling was planning out Ron and Hermione's relationship from the time they were bickering over how to properly say Leviosa, not Leviosa. So, from wish fulfillment to characters and story arcs, there was a whole list of reasons why Harry and Hermione never ended up together, and all of those culminated in creating two couples. Harry and Ginny, as well as Ron and Hermione, that us Potterheads have come to love.